Wow, that's amazing. Oh my goodness, okay. Shout out to Buck. Thank you, Buck. You're amazing. Cheers over here. I mean, I feel like it's a good idea. Oh, I'll move these. Yeah, well, okay. Here we go. Thank you. Yes. Little, uh, oh, little dink. Everyone, we're rocking and rolling. Actually, we're not rocking and rolling. We're kicking back. Put your feet up. Put your feet up on a Sunday. Yes. Three mountain runs in a row. Three mount. It's time to just chill out on a Sunday. Yes. And uh, every we haven't done a Q&A vlog in a while. That's true. So thank you for sending in your questions if you did. We appreciate it. And uh, we're just in, we're in a little bit of catch up mode from Mexico. That's right. You know, you yeah. go travel. Um, That's right. Kind of get everything back in order. Got to get back in order. Yeah. So here. I like a low key vlog. Right? I, like it. I know. We don't do this too often, but when we do, it turns into a good time. Yeah, it does. All right. So uh, we're going to do questions via video. Thank you for sending in your questions. And they kept them short. Thank you for doing that. Oh, bless you. And they all filmed them in horizontal, not vertical. Oh, we got some professional folks here. Very impressive. Wow. And then we'll take questions from Twitter okay. and Discord. Shout, right. shout out to everyone on Discord. Discord baby. Okay, and sorry if I don't remember your names, I'm just gonna let them roll, all right? Yes, okay, I'm ready. Ready, mm -hmm. here we go. Hey Seth and True Love, thanks for doing the Q&A. Uh, Seth, you mentioned in a recent vlog that you told True Love that you wanted to take her on a dream vacation uh, five years ago. Uh, I'm happy you guys were able to do that. Uh, my question for you is, where else in the world would you like to go and why? It's a great one. That is a good one. Well, first of all, we're homebodies. Yeah, we really are. So we don't travel a ton. We're happiest right here. Yeah, we're okay to just hang Our out. Our last vacation, dream vacation, would have been Ireland, a baby moon, when I was pregnant with Joseph. Yeah. And we went around the coast. But okay, where would we want to be? Where, where I mean... We We've always wanted to go to Prague. Praha. Yeah, we love... Yeah. I love southern Germany and like mm, Bavaria. Yeah, oh. The Italian Alps. Yeah. Um... I'd love to see New Zealand someday. Oh, yeah. Um, Honestly, I want to go to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yep, yep. That's doable. Actually, that might come up in another question soon. So those are a few ideas. Yeah. I, you know what actually looks very interesting? We watched a uh, food, street food documentary. Ooh. And the street, oh, food yeah. in, the street food in Thailand mm. looked amazing. Oh, to die. And wow. Thailand has these beautiful landscapes. Anyway. Just a few Honestly, ideas. Honestly, wherever. Yeah. We be together. Exactly. We don't have like a bucket list going or anything. I know. I know. Yeah. We learned a lot we on did. this last trip to Mexico. And we picked everything we did specifically for the children. So I think if it was like just us versus the children, it would be different too. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Seth. You may have already posted a video talking about this, but could you share some of the specific exercises you do using the slant board to help strengthen your knee and other supportive muscles? Thanks. Very eloquent. No problem. Thank okay. you for the question. That's awesome. Um, so it's the reverse. The one that really helped me overcome my runner's knee in 2020. Yeah, 2020, 18 months ago, which was my last injury, was the reverse squat. Ooh, if I can find a clip. Ooh. But go, no, better yet, go to the homepage of the channel and type in um, prehab into this. There's a little search box on the homepage of this YouTube channel. Type in prehab and all the exercises that I do with that reverse slant border on are in that vlog, okay? Perfect. There you go, it's called the reverse squat and it helped a ton with overcoming runner's knee. Perfect. There you go. Hey Seth, I just married my high school sweetheart. We've been together for five years and now we have finally, finally gotten married. Um, I just noticed you and your true love have such an amazing relationship and have raised a wonderful family. What are some tips that you have for uh, just continuing that awesome relationship and awesome fire through um, many years of marriage and through uh, having children? Well, that was a great question. Great question. I like that question. You want to take that first? Or? Okay. I mean, I, I always come back to two things. One, 
is just a practical, the built-in date night mm -hmm. from the get-go. And even at the beginning when you have no kids, you think, oh, we could go out every night. No, pick a night because as life fills in, that will be carved out and you just don't even know what a gift that is. Yeah. And then the second thing, and I think this is so key, mm -hmm. is to, this is your best friend. This is the person you love with all your heart. That's your soulmate. That's mm -hmm. the one your heart loves always. And I'm speaking as a woman, always speak respectfully, kindly to your spouse and about your spouse. When you're with your friends, when you're with your family, yeah. I think that's so important in the same way you would build up the person you love most on the earth. Why would you not do that for your spouse? Like I've heard the example of people will say to their children, like, could you, like to a toddler, excuse me, could you please get that for mama? And then to this husband, you've got the milk. Mm -hmm. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Those almost should be flipped. Like you are the boss of the two-year-old and you should have patience and kindness and loving mm -hmm. towards the spouse. That's what I think. That's great. That's great. I'll just okay. add real quick yeah. is a little tiff or a little, if you have a little argument, a little tiff, mm -hmm. which does not happen often, but a little tiff where there's a misunderstanding is don't let that uh, fester. Mm -hmm. uh, come up, come to a resolution as quick as possible, mm -hmm. but just keep in mind, tip of the day, is it might take a half hour, mm. an hour, but it really shouldn't be like the next day or even the next day, but just to like think through, okay, where did the uh, divergence happen mm -hmm. where you didn't quite understand each other? Mm -hmm. But don't let it go on and on forever and ever. That's beautiful. It's a little tip of the day. He's the best. One time, we had a little tip, and I'm telling you guys, it was less than one minute. It was like 40 seconds later, you came back to the room and you were like, this doesn't feel right. Yeah. And we talked it through. You'll, you'll feel it. Here we go. Hey, what's going on, Seth? This is Dan, the Ultra Dad. Hope things are going well for you and your family as you're house hunting. My question for you is, have you looked at your schedule for 2022 yet? Had, do you have any ideas of races you want to run or travel you want to do? And would you be willing to share that with us? Thanks again for everything. DGR Strong, I love your videos, love your channel, and I hope you all take care of yourselves. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thank you, Dan, for the question. Amazing. And, um, Ultra Dad has a YouTube channel. Oh. I checked about an hour ago and he had 996 subscribers. Oh, wow. Four, four more. more till a thousand. Four more till a thousand. The first thousand is the hardest. The first thousand. It's the hardest. Mm -hmm. <gasps> we'll get you. So let's push okay, him over. Quick. We'll uh, link down below okay. is his YouTube channel. And he's Hopefully got. Hopefully, by the time you're watching this. Yeah, you might already pay, be past a thousand, yeah, frankly. That's awesome. So, Ultra Dad, let's Aww. get him over there. And I think he's Ultra Daddio on, like that. on Twitter. Race schedule 2022, Naples Half Marathon, perhaps in Ooh. January. It's on my radar. Uh, I just, it's so flat. It's so, yeah. it's just a fast course. Good competition. Good competition. Uh, Houston Half Marathon, perhaps. Okay. Boston Marathon Ooh. in April. Uh, Zagama, you know, since it was canceled this year, oh, yeah. I'd say is on my radar. And then, you know, probably some other races in the Golden Trail World Series. We All, like them. Yep. And also the Sky Running um series okay sky running which is shorter kind of like that tw yeah 15 to 25 mile range but with more vertical and steeper mountains and then we'll see about pike's peak perhaps pike's peak i think since you're the ultra dad you might be wondering am i going to jump up to 50s and hundreds mm -hmm. and i would say probably not next year but maybe the following 2023 mm -hmm. maybe and then in the fall i would love a europe uh a year a fast Europe marathon. Ooh. So it'd be 2022, so maybe Berlin, Ooh. actually. So that's part of this um, world major marathons. Ooh. Berlin is, you know, basically the fastest course out there. Maybe London. Wow. If I could get it, yeah, you know, it's just all about the application process, but right. there's a few for yeah. you to chew on well, that's exciting, there. Man. Okay, so it. those are all of the questions okay. Okay. via the computer. Okay. Let's hop over to Twitter real okay. quick, yep. and we'll do a little more uh, lightning okay. round here. Lightning round, baby. Just because, uh, you know, time is... Time is of a ticket. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, we're just gonna rock and roll. Okay. Chapalu Chapalui, when should I start my training block for a marathon this November uh, This November 15th? 12 weeks beforehand. Yeah, oh my, hun. Butter to the bread. I would say 12 at the minimum and then 16 weeks at the maximum. So I'll let you do the math backward. Brilliant. There you go. Did you consider, there we go, DJ uh, Nushin. 
Uh, from Poland, I maybe. Did you consider such a large new studio that you could have a table, chairs, and invite some inspiring guests from DGR or running experts into your shows from time to time? Regards to Bridget. Bridget, um, we are we, today. We are making a plan, baby. We have a big. So this next weekend, you're watching this on a, this next like five, six days is yeah. like house hunting really begins. It starts. And yes, we have plans for a much bigger studio. And there are some dreams of potential guests in the studio. Plus so, a coffee bar. Plus a coffee bar, right? Just saying. Right? Everyone needs dark coffee. Okay. Um, Robert, what's happened to the vlog for six weeks? I have a lot to catch up. Oh my goodness, Robert. You have a lot to catch up on. Binge, baby. Wow, you got a lot to go here. Okay, Matt. Hey Seth, hope you and the family are well. I'm a big guy and love the cushion of the Invincibles. I want a slightly lighter slash faster shoe for training and racing. Uh, Endorphin Speed 1 or 2, Mach 4 or Noble Blast 2, what do you recommend? Endorphin Speed 1 or 2. Ooh. If you can afford it, Mach 4 is about 30 bucks cheaper. I'd probably go Speed, Mach, and then Nova Blast. 4 if you're talking about a crossover between training and racing. Nice. There we go, there we go. Hun, sorry, got these it. are a little yeah, more... No, I got the 12-week one. Yeah, you got the 12-week one. I'll have a sip here. There we go. I'm moving to Boulder in the fall from the Ooh. northeast. What's the best way for a sea level runner to adjust to the altitude in Colorado and mountain running? My brother and I were talking, we, after I got off the phone with you this morning, okay. Joseph called. Oh, nice. And I finished my run for like 30 minutes talking oh, to Joseph. perfect. I've never done that before. I took a phone call in the middle of the run and just finished it up. Was it hard? No. Come well, it was it, no. it was an easy day, but okay. we were talking about... There's no other way to get ready for a mountain race, especially at altitude, without the mountains. You just you there's there's no other way. Wow. You li you Sorry, just Tommy. you just have to go run in the mountains. Yeah. Now for you, Gr Gromash on Twitter, don't do it too quickly. You know, live in Boulder for three to four weeks, five weeks, just chill, run mm -hmm. around Boulder, and then eventually work your way up into the bigger mountains, the foothills. Oh, that's good. There you go. Welcome to Colorado. Cuddles Ramji, what <laughs> shoes are you wearing for Pikes Peak? Ooh. I don't know. Um, I don't know, but I'll just say, because I want to bring you some value. The shoes from last year are in the running. The Innovate X Talon G210 and then the Solomon Pulsar are probably the leaders right now. Nice. For sure. Okay. Okay. Best memory from your time at CU? Oh, walking onto the team. Walking onto the cross country team. Aww. And True Love and I attended a talk oh my gosh. and right. we had no clue. We at the same talk, we were both at the same talk on campus. Yes. We didn't know, but we didn't know each other. And yes. we didn't make the connection until years later. years later that we were at. So that was probably the first moment we were in the same location. Oh, big. But we had, well, obviously we, we didn't, didn't know. There was hundreds of it people was there. It a big famous debate and we both got to go to it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Now real quick, hopping over to Discord. Okay. Is that okay? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just a couple here. So everyone on Discord, if you're not a member of the channel, um, become a member and you can ask questions on Discord. Uh, uh, here yeah, we go. With Discord, baby. It's fun. Okay. Chris Emery. Uh, I think it's from the UK, I believe. Right, Chris? Uh, seven weeks into a 16-week half marathon training block, when should I start threshold runs and how many sh of them should I do Ooh. a week? And Chris, I'm going to say um, you can start now. Yeah, you're, half, you're almost halfway through. I would start now, but shorter. Uh, shorter, okay? Shorter threshold runs? Short, shorter, yeah, shorter threshold runs. So like, I don't know what you said, half marathon, so like a three mile threshold. Um, and then, because then you really only have um, six weeks of training left before your taper begins, six to seven. So yeah, I would start pretty quick. Um, it's actually perfect timing. How many should you do? Well, I like to do about one a week. Yeah. But you don't, you know, you got to listen to your body. Okay. I'd say every seven to 12 days. Okay. That's what, that's my approach. Good luck in your house. Good job, house. Chris. Yeah. Um, here we go. McDow C. I think this connects to us. Okay. Once your kids get old enough and the marathon weekend in Disney World comes up, um, y'all would do, would you all consider doing this as a race and family vacation? I did the half marathon there and it was awesome. Aww. Should we ever go to Disney World and should I do the marathon there? Oh, I'm a hard no on that. Yeah. Nothing against, listen, I know people are huge fans. I just, we, we like, like the wait, opposite wait. of that maybe. Like wait. less crowds, more space. I just feel like as far as crazy rides and lines. I think we would go 
and you stay at the pool. Oh, or a spa. And I'll take the big boys and we'll go hit the roller coasters. Oh yeah. The big boys and I will go hit the roller coasters. Okay. But no, I get it. We, you know, we like to, yeah, or the spa. I don't know guys. I'm it's, just not a... And you have to wait in lines. I mean, I think someday the boys would love to go. That's funny, but um, I, yeah. You know. I don't want to ruin anyone's life. Good for you if you love it. I, I just, I'm a, I'm a no. She, we're homebodies, like we said yeah. earlier. Uh, call it like it is. Mm. Um, okay, here we go. Let's see. When, what do you all do on a daily slash weekly basis to show one another you love each other, Aww. serve each other, even with a crazy running schedule? So that's from C Runs for Life, and that is the last question. Uh, well, we already kind of answered it. Yeah. With a date night every yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. We've been doing that for a decade. Um, but daily, so that's like the weekly. Mm. Oh, here's something he always does for me, which I love. Uh huh. He will like get his life together sooner than me, so he will have already brushed his teeth for the night before I go into the bathroom for the, and he will like get my toothbrush out and put a little toothpaste on it, and like set it down and have it ready for me, and I always feel like it's like a little love note, like I was thinking of you. Yeah. And I love that, and I think like when you call me or I call you, unless it's something crazy, you take it or I take it, you know, to just give them that preference of that time. Yeah. And. You get my coffee ready. Oh, I do get your coffee the ready. The night before, that yes. helps. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it reminds me. So. Also, I would say when you, he comes home, when he comes in the door, I run, give him a hug and a kiss. Yeah. I think all those things help. Yeah, oh, right? He, oh, he always opens the door for me, wherever we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's just, it's self-sacrifice. That's, yeah. that's the- Putting the other first. Putting the other first, you know? You just lay down your life. Oh, yeah, you do. That's what, you know, that's what this world's all about. That's so. right. That's it. Oh, mama. Comment of the day, question of the day. Yeah. You know what? We're going to let true love go rest. Oh, perfect. I'm going to close out oh, the vlog. See you later. See you later. And um, I'm going to op actually open these packages as well. Okay. okay, we're back. Here we go. All ready to rock and roll. Question of the actually, comment of the day. I know this is going a little long, but um, this is what these Q&A vlogs are all about. Here we go. Uh, shout out to Paul Nielsen. Here we go, Paul. Seth, your filmmaking just gets better and better. You must handle cameras like most of us handle water bottles. Uh, what a weekend with Western States live coverage, my own time running and your vlog this morning. Thank you so much for the goodness you bring to our days, Paul. I'm trying, I'm, it's, I'm just trying. Let's, it's been, a pro, it's been a five year process, okay? The vlog you saw yesterday, which is part of the reason why I'm taking an easy day today. What you saw yesterday in the last three days you get better and when you do something every day you get better and better at it and it's been a process it's just it, that's life that's life uh is a process of learning and tinkering and making mistakes and fixing it and so i appreciate paul that you are noticing a little uptick in the quality of the daily vlog and question of the day you know what we're gonna take the ultra dad's question because it's 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 great we're halfway through 2021 it's not too early to start thinking about racing in 2022, especially if you're registering for races that are very popular. It's, a, it's actually a, a pretty good time. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm telling you, some of these races, especially with you know, the world returning to normalcy even more in 2022, the demand to do some of these big races especially. So what are some races that are on your radar for 2022 that you would love to do next year okay here we go i'm overdue for opening some boxes let's actually adjust this camera <laughs> now now i know the vlog is going really really long but again i just um i just i, just, I gotta i gotta play catch up with the boxes okay here we go oh interesting okay there i've heard of this before human amp and I, you know this is just showing up at my house i'm not endorsing these products Human Amp PR Lotion powered by Bicarb. Nat natural electrolyte helps your muscles train, perform, and recover. Proven, trusted, guaranteed. I've heard of this before. I think it's like a recovery. Anyway, PR Lotion. I'm not endorsing, but thank you for sending this. And I'll have to do some more research to see if I will test it. Okay, let's do, actually a letter showed up. Look at that. I love letters. Hold on here. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Okay. I know who this is from. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay. Shout out to Buck. Thank you, Buck. You're amazing. Um, this is the scapular that I wear around my neck. Seth, you have big fans in Fort Collins. We all appreciate what you do. I haven't 
seen you with your scapular, so if you need this, wear it out. That's amazing. That's amazing. Buck, I appreciate it so, so much. Oh man, Fort, Fort Collins, good people up in Fort Collins. Okay, actually let's open this box real quick here. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Uh -huh. Buck, you would be correct. My, my current one is, uh, is wearing out very quickly. Okay, so who's heard of Gnarly before? Uh, G-N-A-R-L-Y, okay. Gnarly uh, is a company out of Utah and they produce uh, mixes and yeah, basically recovery drinks. Um, so I'm beginning to test gnarly sports nutrition and this is their, ooh, cherry cola with caffeine. It's a fuel replenish recover. Okay. There it is. And let's just open this up real quick there. It's just basically a mix that you put into, uh, your, your water. And so I'm gonna start testing Gnarly out and give you a review of Gnarly very, very soon. And this flavor is the tropical, very cool. Okay, thank you Gnarly for sending it. I will start testing out right now. Okay, two more, let's see. Oh, let's actually, let's open this one first. Oh, okay, it's, uh, it's, a, lot of, um, it's a lot of electrolyte drinks. So this is liquid IV. Another company that uh, is sending electrolyte drink mix. Let me know if anyone has used either Gnarly or Liquid IV. Thank you. I've got a lot of, <laughs> I wish I could send some of this out to people because I just have a lot of it, but the Liquid IV, it's electrolyte drink mix uh, fueling life's adventures. Anyway, we'll keep testing. All right, thank you, Liquid IV. And last but not least, thank you. It's like, man, life's a process, but this is, a, let's open it up here. I know what this is. So this is a material, interesting, I'm feeling it right now. So this is a material that, as you know, I wear a racing singlet. It says seek beauty, work hard, and love each other on it. And I wanna make the singlet available to more people. But to find the right clothing company that makes a, a great singlet, that is breathable and lightweight and made for runners is hard to do. Like this is the third one that's shown up at my house. Um, and I can sense right now that it's gonna be too thick. It's crazy. I can just, I already know this isn't gonna work. So again, we just keep kind of keep going back to the drawing board, trying to find the right singlet material um, to make a, a DGR racing singlet for all of you. All right, so it's been a process. We haven't struck gold yet but we're not giving up. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Q&A vlog and unboxing vlog in the books. I know that went a little long, but that's how we roll here sometimes. Okay, we will toss it to the, um, we'll toss it to the last Q&A vlog, actually. I think it was a couple months ago. Q&A vlog right there, right there, right there. All right, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.